Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Gio, Steven, back in the theaters. This time we're going to see Godzilla and Kong, The New Empire. Uh, it's directed by Adam Wingard. It stars Rebecca Hall, Brian, Tyree, Henry, Dan Stevens, and Kaylee Hotley. Hotley. Um, back to the MonsterVerse. This is what the... Th there was Godzilla, Third. then there's Skull, Skull so Island, we... then there was Kong, Godzilla oh, versus Kong. before. And this is Godzilla and Kong, The New Empire. I'm going to say visually looks great it's stupid fun you have to leave your beliefs at the door because a lot of stuff you kind of would probably go huh like what that's not possible but for this suspension of belief for the monster battles which actually i thought were really good uh the human the people in here i didn't really care for at all to be honest again um but the creatures look cool. The battles were actually better. Like like Transformers, you can never really see who's fighting. This you see who's winning, who's punching, who's getting their ass kicked. That was greatly done. It's it's stupid fun at the movies. Lighthearted entertainment. I enjoyed it. I like the MonsterVerse. I like this one. Again, like I said, the people are kind of... I don't care. Heartless. But... Um, like you know, when I said like, disbelief, there's a part where uh, the character uh, Rebecca Hall sees the hieroglyphics. The rest are pictures, but there's three lines of writing, and she goes into a 10-minute monologue of what's happening. How did you get that from three little lines? I don't know. It's called the writer. But again, you have to just you know put your belief system at the door. This is having fun, visual fun, and I did. The monster battles are fun. It's great to see them together. I enjoyed it, and I had a blast in the theater with him. But I knew what I was getting into. Okay, for myself, I enjoyed it more than he did. Because even though it's, it's a, uh, look, it's like you go and see the Transformers. Not even the, 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 the superhero movie because they're smaller and everything. That Transformers, bigger than life, than itself, right? And if it would have been true, it, they're trying to make as much sense as the monster universe into it as possible. It's like uh, in Mid Middle Earth. Now, I don't know about you, in geography right now, they're finding that under the ocean, there's an, an, under the crust, there's another ocean of water, body of water. So, da da, you see, you don't, don't know about these things. And humans, how many things we talk about the, the Big Bang Theory? It's going down the tubes. There's another theory coming about. There's, 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 there's galaxies even older than, than the Big Bang Theory the humans thought. So, try and say that we're more than anything else. Uh, for a monster movie, what I love about this movie is this. How they can make it so believable story-wise that there is a middle or there is this and that. It's very well done compared to the old Godzilla and King Kong of, of the past that didn't, nothing made sense. You're like, seriously, how does this happen? How does this happen? So kind of, I like how they did it. Kind of like, like so I find it more believable than Transformer kind of sense, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, the the bond with Rebecca Hall and what's her name Katie Hardy? Come on, you don't find a bond when she, when she, she she's like she she's going she goes to pick up her at school and then she's certain point when they find a, a village people of her tribe in Middle Earth. She's like, look, if you want to stay here, no problem. She goes, no, because we're meant to be together and we are going to be together. So that was a certain emotion you get attached yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I'll give you. See, I'm freaking things out of him. Okay, and. And the other characters, don't, to me, okay, all these characters are, it's like Jurassic Park. They do their roles very good. This is that, but to me, what does, does it itches me backwards and does make me believe in these people is, let's put it this way. You put me in a helicopter and you smack me in the jungle of the Amazon or in Africa. Okay, go outside and videotape it. Okay, where are we? We're, at, we're in the middle of a big jungle, let's say in Africa. Okay, it's full of animals. Yes, insects and everything, yeah. And I'm gonna go with a t-shirt. And it's just a baseball cap or anything else. No, 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 I want armor. I want full my. I want full guard. I want a gun, I want a, a knife. I don't know, and this is, Afri this is in Africa or Brazil. Or a proton pack, like in Ghostbusters. There you go, yeah. Because who, who, I'm afraid of, I'm not afraid of ghosts, but I'm afraid of a monster like Godzilla. Yes. So the point is that these people, like, 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 like Jurassic Park, they come out, it's like, oh, we're not scared. Okay, there's, there's flies. This big, they can, they, they can sting you, rip your skin apart. 
And, be, and what eats those things? I know there's, there's spiders, for example, the size of a cat. And you're not scared of it? means like, I go, look, I go, seriously, all you guys are the most bravest people in the world, or you're the most stupidest. And so that's where, the, that's where the geek in me pulls back and goes, hey, seriously, you guys, you're just going to walk through the jungle more further, then go back to, to that the, the hovercraft, the helicopter, get more military uh, weapons, and then you do your little search. No, we're gonna go with a, with a little with a little knife. So whatever comes towards us, seriously, that's the part that that that, we, we, that, that I think Stephen he doesn't get attached to it. Like me towards you sitting with Jurassic Park, it's like it's un, uh, to me it's unbelievable because you send the military anywhere yeah. in, in on on Earth. That's what I was saying. You have to suspend your belief. Yeah, what makes sense? Like I would not go in the jungle like that without like armor. But that's what I'm saying, that's why you, you pulled back. Yeah. I know the reason why I pulled back. It's to me, that thing is, doesn't make sense. Yeah. Because I know one thing, if I was that, that uh, what's the, the, the African guy there, black African, what's his name? Brian. Uh, oh, Henry. Brian Tree. Okay, he's there and like, he's, I go, well, oh, excuse me, if I'm going into this place, it's going to run in the jungle, I want full military. Caviar, what's called a caviar, but the bulletproof vest and this and that. And with a visor and with radars, and I don't have a little cabin. No, we're just walking. That's what that's that's to me. That's the the, the thing that bothers me of the movie. But overall, the monsters, the the fighting scenes. Okay, They're seriously. Nasty. Yeah, but the one part that bothered me, it looked like a, like a UFC tag team. And there was a wrestling movie. They did like a yeah the the the, the body the, slam. Yeah, the body, the body slam. Or you know, it, to me that that to me is like okay because. There's two apes against each other and two dragon-like, one of one of a uh, fire, example Godzilla, and one of coal, and the each other. It's like, it's 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 almost perfectly squared against each other. That to me was too much of a tag team kind of sense. It's like ah, uh, e, you know. But then again, it took a little. But there's a lot of twists and turns. They make these animals more smart than they are. It's like another thing in, in science. Okay, we all see like we call people like I call Stephen. Hey, you're a bird brain. In the old days, that's an insult. Now, calling a person a bird brain goes thanks to you for the compliment. Because a lot of birds, like crows, are just as smart or smarter than a chimpanzee. So there you go. So now these people, these dinosaurs are getting, more, they, they, you see them communicating. Godzilla with, uh, with King Kong with the little chimpanzee. It's adorable. Yeah. yeah. It's a, the, Guts, when, when King Kong is there, even Godzilla later on, it's like a sound movie. They talk to each other, you don't, they don't say no words. But you kind of the, the emotion, the expression, the CGI on that's incredible. You can actually read that, and those eight movements. I love, I love the documentaries on Animal World. It's that's how chimpanzees talk to each other. The gestures, um, keeping the distance, the eye, the eyes. They look at the eyes and everything. So they were key on on a lot of a lot of crap. Okay, and overall, I enjoyed it. I mean, to me, example, I'm a Godzilla fanatic. And I used to hate, I used to, when I, when I rewatched the old Japanese Godzilla or Ultraman, and I started laughing, oh my god, this is so stupid. Oh my god, so fake, because I was watching one as a little kid. This one here, here I am, more mature, more educated, and they're on key on a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff you know? And uh, to, to a point, example, like, and humans will always be humans, and whatever, uh, even though some people say, look, these are good, these are good animals for us, this and this. There's always people gonna contest against you. They want the proof. It's it's our planet. We're the alpha, and the humans do not want to lose the the statue of losing that. Like we're no more alpha of the planet, you know. So we have to share with the, these people, you know. So like Grana Godzilla, the Colosseum in, in Italy, that's his little bed. <laughs> so he times, but oh, what the, what is happening over here? Oh, oh no. me but anyways, to make up anyways, on the Rotten Tomato they put fifty five percent, fifty five percent. And people's viewing it as 96. I'm in the 90s. I enjoyed it. It, it. To me, it flew by. The one thing is, I'm telling you, this movie where those people came out of the helicopter and all whatever, that, that jet packing thing, that, and they had armor, thin, it's bulletproof, this and this, with laser guns and this and that, with the um, infrared, the uh, infrared, yeah. and all those kind of thing. Then to me, it's like, yes, that's smart. But you're coming out of there, it's like, oh, look at this. You know, send the, was, uh, they could have, well, you had our time, I don't know about that, uh, send the word. You were send the piece, almost nine feet tall. Dragonflies, three feet. Spiders, get a, a, a cat. That's just an insect world. 
Now you're talking about other kinds of creatures that are mutated in there, whatever, that evolved differently, because now those are those birds that fired sonic uh, sonic wave from the mouth. Yeah. Yeah. So who knows what the other thing is? Oh, no, let's just walk around it. So that's the part that bothered me. But overall, I loved it. I really, I really, like, time flew by. Ten times more faster than Ghostbusters. Let's put it this way. So to me, for this one here, if you're a real Godzilla fanatic, really, if you have to pay regular price, go see IMAX. Yeah. Okay? But for me, IMAX on a cheapo night, it's the way to go. You're going to be the happiest camper in the world because you didn't spend that much and you have the best visual. Special effect is amazing. I'm telling you, try to find defects on these people, on um, Godzilla, King Kong, all that. It's, it, 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 you can't. It's spot on, kind of sense. I was trying to find it. I put my glasses back on because I want to see defects. I couldn't find them. It's incredible. So for me, for, this to me, I enjoy the movie hands on, big time. So I gave it, the, like I said, if you're a real Godzilla fanatic, but still go to Cheaper Night, IMAX, and trust me, then you go, you, you go to the restaurant and the, the half the food is paid because what you say. I agree. You, Steven? You know what? It's a fun time at the moment. Like I said, like we agree, there's some parts you got to the logical part. You got to leave the side of the door. The geek. You know, and just have fun watching the monsters fight because it's well done. It's not like Transformers where you don't see who's hitting who anymore. This you actually see who's getting hit, who's winning, who's losing at that point. And that's, it's well done that way. If you like the monster verse so far, it's another great entry in it. And I recommend it on a cheap night. Especially IMAX, you need to see it on IMAX for yeah. sure. And before I let you guys go, there's one part I love when King Kong made the first baby, the little baby, little baby gorilla, whatever it is, the red uh, or, 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 or a tang, or whatever it's called. It's, it's more orangey, right? So he's trying. The guy get him and this and that. And then the three other gorillas, apes, they attack him, and he ends up using the, that little chimpanzee there as a tool. He's pretty <laughs> little, whipping and everything. He goes, "Yeah, you're gonna treat me like a stranger. You're gonna treat me. I'm trying to be nice to you, and you treat me like scrap. I'm gonna treat you like scrap." See, we laughed more at that than Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you see the gestures of King Kong, and he's with that, that chimpanzee, little chimp. Or that chimpanzee is a chimp, can I say? And the, just as gestures, you're laughing. The way he carries the axe, it's very macho. When he has the, the first time he puts the metal glove, you know, and uh, and he, he bashes. It's like he's. I, I know it's a CGI, but you look at the expression. I know exactly what he's thinking about. Yeah, yeah. Except how what he thinks about what I think about. I put more bad words into it. So there you go. Uh, okay. So that's it. Uh, enough said. All right. So. We agree, cheap night IMAX. Oh yeah, big time. Yes. All right, so another uh, another hit for the MonsterVerse. Hopefully, this does well and they continue and make more because it's quite enjoyable. I'm Stephen. I'm Gio. Welcome to the round table. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hit the like button, subscribe, and if you found this uh, entertaining, entertaining, pass this on to your friends and family, and we'd appreciate it. So we hopefully see you soon. Take care. Ciao, guys.